So, <clears throat> hey guys, Chauser here. And yeah, lo I just like to talk a bit about the upcoming treasure map, Sugofest. And it's going to debut the new treasure map booster, Dobon, Hyogoro, and Luffy. And yeah, this is a uh, Sugofest me and many others have been waiting for for a long time. It also marks the start for the new reality of treasure map boosters just being a lot more relevant outside of treasure map going forward no specials will only work in treasure map but the boost will work outside of treasure map too so that's obviously a huge boon and the majority of treasure map boosters from now on will have very or varying degrees of powerful support effects and for this batch Hyogor in particular but also Luffy will have very good support so yeah, for many, they need to reevaluate how they look at treasure maps. But yeah, yeah, let's take a look at the steps first, thanks to Matt for compiling them here. And yeah, as you see, part 1 starts on April 7th, part 2 April 10th. And yeah, the treasure map usually starts with part 2, so that means treasure map starts April 10th. So yeah, that's nice, finally a weekend treasure map. And yeah, let's take a look at the structure, part 1, part 2. There's only one difference, and that is that on part 1 you get Dobon for guaranteed. And on part 2 it's a rate boosted step instead, or rate boosted or legend. Uh, we don't know too much about the units, legends available. But we do know that Hawkins is on part 1, and on part 2 you can get Halloween Law and Halloween Mihawk. So let's say you don't have... Kaido versus Big Mom, you don't have Halloween Law, you don't have a Halloween Mihawk. We're talking about a 1.5% combined rate to get any of those three, which makes part two very enticing. I'd also like to note that Dobon will probably have a pretty good rate on part two as well. And if you happen to not pull Dobon, all you lose out on is a booster for the treasure map. But you might also gain one or more new legends. So I still not sleep on part two. Like if you want to get the most value out of this. Like if you look at the steps. We do have the discount. 30 gems on first multi. We do have two one game multis. Four to eight. And the big step up is the seventh. Which is guaranteed to be. The new Luffy or the new Yogoro. So yeah. So basically if you go to the guarantee step. You will have one step with a guaranteed legend. That's the 5th multi. You might as well go to the 8th multi. Since 8th multi is one game. And 9th multi is also a guaranteed legend. So if you still lack uh, one of the legends on part 2 for example like each of them will be 10% chance on the legend step up so if you lack 3 that's 30% chance of a new legend so that's just some things to keep in mind and yeah all the one game multi steps still makes it pretty cheap like those 3 multis combined are just 32 gems so getting to step 7 then is 32 plus how many steps are left? It's step 2, step 3, step 5, step 6, step 7. So that's uh, can 282 games. Does that sound right? Yeah, I think it's 282 games to do the first 8 multis. So if you also want to go for the ninth, that's 322. Not that awful, considering you have a lot of chances to get a lot of new stuff potentially. But yeah, uh, one thing to note is the differences between this and the JP Sugo. On JP, for this, they had 5th multi was the guaranteed new unit, but that new unit could also be uh, Dobon. And Dobon was of course higher rated than the others. Uh, the, for the plus side on JP, 10th multi was also guaranteed a new unit, so if you do, did 20 multis total, like both parts, you had 4 step ups, 
with a good chance to get Luffy or Jo. Like on global, we only have two total. But at the same time, you might as well get four Dobon from those steps. So I'd say global has the better step ups here. But it will be interesting to see in the future for global. Like, this is the only uh, treasure map Sugo on JP which had those steps. After this uh, Sugo on JP, all trash map uh, Sugos have the same step ups. It's a 30 gem discount, no one gem multis, third multi, new unit, random, and seventh unit, also new unit random, and I think 10th too. So, another thing to note on JP in the future is that the rates are killed for the new treasure map boosters. Like on modern JP TM Sugos, like we are talking insanely low rates to pull the new TM boosters, so you're only realistically pulling them on the guaranteed step ups. So that means there's a lot of RNG in play since none of them are guaranteed. I've let you see a JP whale do 30 multis on part 1 to 3, uh, 30 multis total on a treasure map Sugo. And not get all of the boosters, and that's just mind blowing, honestly. So, yeah, I hope Global don't take that path. I'd actually love if we kept the structure from this in the future. The one change I would like to see is that if we do part one and two, that part one guarantees, say, the middle booster, so Jogor in this case. And part 2 guarantees the higher booster, so Luffy in this case. That would be really nice, you have a safety net. People like me who maybe sometimes want to get all of them can get them at guarantee. The price will be pretty high, let's be real, but there's no chance to get shafted. So I'd really much like that. So yeah, I will probably make a video in the future talking about the... Uh, uh, upcoming treasure map boosters that are worth getting. Uh, going for the step up with either Luffy or Hyo is actually pretty decent. Both have very strong support effects. Luffy, you can attach him to any kid unit. And when he uses a special, he reduces two times of bind, the spear, paralysis, super strong. Very good for the new treasure map kid too, like Treasure map kid with or without this Luffy support is like night and day. He is pretty much useless without him. And Yogoro, just a solid special in general. Utility and ore boost. And the support you can put on Luffy is just mind blowing. Reduces two turns of attack down and two turns of damage threshold. And it's when the special is triggered. So that's also unique. It's the only special in the game that removes attack down when you trigger a special. And... Yeah, you can view that how you want, but having more options is always nice. And it's Luffy's only way to remove those, those two debuffs with support. So, yeah, I'm personally going to keep pulling until I get Yogoro. It might mean my game stash is going to get killed if I get unlucky. Let's hope not. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So yeah, thanks for hearing me out. See you next time.